Welcome to another awesome time on Niger Super Fans Forum. My name is Oluwafemi Ashaolu. Of course, reactions are still trailing. Uh, Super Eagles 2-2 uh, uh, two -two draw against Algeria Team B. And of course, uh, Ghana's 3-0 uh, defeat to Brazil in France last week. So today, of course, those are what will get our attention today. Of course, the, uh, the Black Stars will be playing uh, Nicaragua, of course, uh, in the second friendly. While the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be playing the main uh, desert forces of Algeria. So those are what we'll be looking at on the show today and of course the black stars they have left france uh, for spain where they'll they be playing uh Nicaragua. so those are what we'll be of course thinking at it into today of course kyle de join us via video and kyle de welcome to the show thank you femi it's always a pleasure to be here okay and james james welcome to the show once again thank you femi okay yeah. uh let's get started now of course like we do we start from home before we we we'll take that uh, uh, trip to Ghana. Uh, Kyle, they, uh, I'll start with you. Uh, let's look at, um, uh, of course, the Aula by Super Eagles goalkeeper. I'm talking about Maduka Okoye in that game against the uh, Algeria Team B. Remember what happened at the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations against Tunisia in the round of 16. Uh, but it seems Nigerians have come for Maduka Okoye again. Of course, yesterday, our former goalkeeper, Joseph Dosu, advised Okoye to perhaps get uh, a low move away from Watford in January so that, of course, he can get more playing time and, you know, have some uh, form uh, in playing for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. What do you think, Kyle <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. If it's on the basis of the mistakes he made against Algeria, that for me is not enough reason to ask him to leave Watford. People make mistakes every day in their daily jobs. I mean, you and I make mistakes even in this uh, punditry. So he's allowed to make those mistakes once in a while. If it becomes a regular, a regular occurrence, that's where there should be uh, a call for concern. But then if it is because of a lack of playing time, which is totally different from the mistake made, because even if you play every day, you can still make this mistake. David De Gea made such a mistake last season for Man Manchester United. That's why father, he kept all of their, uh, almost all of their games. So for me, it is good for him to, to play active football, get a regular football. I agree on that basis. If it is because of that Paola against Algeria, it is not enough reason to ask him to get another club. Hmm. All right, James, very quickly, what, what do you think? Because of course, it's now somewhat back-to-back uh, -back for Nigeria. We saw against uh, Tunisia in the round of 16 at the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. And again, he was trying to dribble uh, the goalkeeper. And Joseph Dosu was even arguing uh, that uh, during his time, the first thing that comes to mind as a goalkeeper, or the first thing the, the coach will tell you is safety first. But now he said you find goalkeepers, uh, you find coaches looking for goalkeepers who can play from Ball the back. Playing goalkeepers. Yeah, mm. and uh, you score, of course, eventually they're vulnerable to errors. But ultimately, he's saying he appears to be much rusty. He hasn't played a league game for what for since he joined them. Yeah. And he said he needs to uh, take a low move away. What do you agree with Coyote? Yeah, I totally agree with Coyote. Um, he has nothing to do with the mistakes. Uh, goalkeepers make mistakes. Even the best goalkeepers, we've seen them, they commit errors. And you saw when um, Real Madrid played against PSG, Donnarumma, he made a mistake, a costly one, which uh, uh, led to uh, PSG's um, uh, outstart from the Champions League. So, um, if, but if it's for it's, um, the playing time in... Uh, Watford. I mean, he just has to uh, take to, uh, go for a move. Um, Josu was a former international, so he knows all these things. And as a goalkeeper, if you are not active, the day the day you now call, you call upon to you know man the post, you you see that rustiness. I mean, so for me, uh, it's a good call. Uh, you should just go for a decent club. I mean, when he was at Sparta Rotterdam, he was very good. You know, he that helped them to like, yeah, he helped them to avoid relegation. relegation last season. You know, so for me, it's just uh, look for a, a decent team where you know that you command the uh, the starting shape. So because as a goalkeeper, you don't need to be staying much long uh, on the bench. He doesn't speak well, and uh, it affects the, your 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 performance. Uh, maybe that part, part of what as well. maybe that, that was part of what led to his mistake against the uh, Algeria B team. So for me, I, I'll go with uh, Dusu. I also agree with Kyle that uh, you seek for uh, a low move because now we need to be active. Mm. Okay, let's talk about uh, Super Eagles uh, friendly against Algeria yeah. tomorrow. Mm. Uh, the, the list of injury uh, casualties is, is getting longer by the day. Of course, the, the latest player to pull out is uh, William Trostek Kong. Yeah. Due to, he said he picked up an injury. And of mm. course, the NFL has also. But let's look at that game. Um, do you think the Super Eagles will need to redeem themselves? Because a lot of people felt disappointed after a drawing against a, 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 a B Algeria team. B team. Mm. A team that was supposed to play against a, a Super Eagles B team. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think um, the Super Eagles will need to at least redeem themselves? I mean, there's nothing, it's like you just you know, start putting pressure on the 
on the, the on the Super Eagles. I saw a lot of comments where people were saying, ah, they, can, they could not beat the Algeria B team. <laughs> they were able to draw against. I mean, they almost defeated. They came from um, go down. They were ahead before uh, the penalty. I mean, it's just a test game. I mean, the, the, just like what you said, it was the Chan Eagles that were supposed to play this game. But, you know, they already arranged, organized the friendly. So they just had to just, you know, uh, do something about the game. And the result uh, ended 2-2. So uh, we look forward to the main one. Uh, the last time Super Eagles defeated the Desert Fox, it was 2016. In the last three meetings, Algeria has defeated us. You know, so um, I think it's a good one. It's, it's a top uh, profile um, friendly game for the Super Eagles and also for Algeria. I know the two teams are not going to the World Cup, so um, it's going to help them to, you know, as they prepare for the qualifiers, you know, it begins in March. Mm -hmm. So it's a good one. And uh, I'm not too particular about the result. I want to see new fresh players. The Ralph uh, Wadike, uh, 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 Educate is coming back to the team. Uh, Akpoguma too, you know, so you want to see more of these guys. Even the injury to, to Sekong, I think it should be like a blessing in these guys. Osimetu is not there. So let's try out other players. Let's, let's see how they perform. Not that we'll just be focusing on the particular yeah, set, of set of players. players. And when there are problems, we'll not be able to, 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 you to know, handle, to, to handle to this. Just like what happened in the qualifiers against Ghana. So for me, I'm not really particular about this. I want to see good performance from the team. Okay, Kyle, do you share the same sentiment with James? And what do you think uh, Pacero will be telling uh, the, the players ahead of tomorrow? Well, nothing much. Like James said, just go there, go play, because he needs to see as many players as possible. Because it's about time some people have become uh, principalities in the, in the Nigerian national team. They've been there forever and ever. It's, <laughs> it's time to get them out. And the only way to get them out is to get fresh players to come in, try their luck, see if they are better than what we already have. If they are not, then there's no point changing them. So that's the, that's the beauty of play, playing friendly games. The, the last one they played 2-2 two -two was, was, was a blessing for Pesero because he never knew he was going to have that opportunity to play two games in, in, as, in, in as many days. So for me, I think if he gets to see these players over these two games, he will know those who he will tell not to bother to come back to the national team and those who is going to give a second look in. So for me, it's a good one. And I think it's about time we beat Algeria. I think it's about time. We should be looking at that, even though it's a friendly game, but we should just snap that their dominance over us. Mm -hmm. All right, so we wish the Super Eagles all the best. How they stay with you? Let's talk about a letter uh, that demanded from the Federal Minister of Youth and Sport inviting all the presidential aspirants for the NFF election. That election was supposed to take place um, uh, at the end of this month, but uh, due to a court order. Uh, but let's talk about that uh, um, later. Of course, there have been rumors um, in, on the social media that it seems the Minister of Sports on the diary has a vested interest in that election. But let's look at it. Do you think it is uh, right for the Minister to invite all the aspirants? Though we do not even know what the Minister wants to say to them, but what do you think about that? Um, for me, like I said, in a different forum on this same on this same issue, uh, in the different forum on on this same issue, I said, why don't we just wait and uh, and see what the outcome of the meeting will be before we begin to uh, to talk about it? It's possible he just wants to make sure that uh, the campaigns and everything and the election is rank off free issue based so that nobody the followers will be able to will, they will be able to manage the followers and it do not affect Nigerian football negatively so if we start uh second guessing what the reasons for uh, for the invitations uh, invitation is now what if at the end of the day nothing of the sort happens i would rather be cautious wait and see the outcome of the meeting i mean how how many days left now before we we we, we hear whatever it is that the meeting is all about so for me i mean we should not split ears over this let's wait and see what the, the the meeting is all about before we talk about it but do you think the election will still go on because we heard that uh, the, some people have withdrawn the case from court you know it's always here and there about uh, news as, regarding the election. as at this morning as at this morning for me i know that if uh everybody is going on as if the elections will hold despite the court order. At least I can tell I am close to two or three of the candidates. I know that they are all going ahead with their plans. So for me, it is something that we wait to see, although I fear that if that court case is not resolved before that, before the uh, September 30th, it could have far-reaching legal implications for the Nigerian Football Federation along the line. It's something that nobody prays for because apart from the incompetence that we, we all know, 
the current administration for one of the ready-made excuses that they made is because it's this long list of uh, court cases against them. So we would not pray for that to happen to the new board whenever that is going to be. I hope everything is sorted out before that date or whenever they think appropriate so that the elections can hold. Okay, James, yeah. finally, before we uh, take a trip to Ghana, we are ready again. We are never far from controversies when it comes to issue of national interest. But let's look at, do you also agree that uh, perhaps the minister wants to ensure that uh, the NFF election is rank of three? Because some people are saying, you are a neutral body, kind of. You're just supposed to hands off and watch people do their thing. Yeah, uh, you know, he's a sports minister, so, you know, he supersedes every uh, sports in um, every uh, sports ministry, uh, you know. So, um, just like what I already said, uh, we just have to wait and, and get an insight on what he wants to discuss with them because you know that this is a very big uh, election and um, he, he, maybe he wants, just wants to advise and um, see one or two things like, um, he doesn't want problem issues to emanate from, because um, we already have issues already, you know, the court cases and everything. So uh, just like what you said, let's just wait. Let's see what comes out of the meeting and uh, let's just hope that it's not something that is trying to influence anything. And um, hopefully everything will just stick up from there. Mm -hmm. All right. So our friends, thank you very much for always uh, staying with us, for always being there for us. Of course, um, uh, our preview or our review of the game against them, um, uh, the, the uh, Ghana and the Brazil. And uh, a lot of people are still reacting to that uh, game against uh, the Samba boys. But let's quickly go on a break now because we'll be telling you that uh, Otto Addo himself has been very critical of himself in that game. He's been questioning his own tactics. And of course, we'll be looking at um, uh, the preview for the Nicaragua game as well as the victory of the best power Ghana Premier League. Of course, Ashanti Kotoko and out of focus over the weekend, the spoils were shared. We'll be back. Please stay with us. Welcome back. It's still Niger Super Fans Forum. Thank you for always uh, staying through with us all around the world. Thank you for your comments, particularly against them um, uh, in the game, the, the aftermath of the game between Ghana and uh, uh, Brazil. But now let's talk about um, the game against Nicaragua and um, what Otoado and his boys will be looking at. Of course, Thomas Partey has left uh, the team. He was uh, in the starting lineup against Brazil, but unfortunately, he pulled out after he, he was said to have uh, experienced uh, a pain in his knee. So he has returned to, uh, to Arsenal. So the Black Stars will be playing that game against Nicaragua without part. Of course, we expect at least Ghana to nick this one. Uh, but let's look at um, uh, the aftermath of that game against uh, Brazil. Um, Otoado himself has been questioning his own tactic and he said he has to first of all look at himself before he looked at the players. And of course, he questioned the ability of, of the players to uh, defend set pieces. He said he was very disappointed in them. Kyle and I, of course, we, we look at all those things extensively uh, after that game. Kyle, let me come to you. Um, that game, Otoado, of course, you did. Because I remember in the analysis, you said you were disappointed in the tactic that Otoado adopted in the first half of that game. And in the second half, we saw a different uh, Black Stars entirely. But let's look at it. He said he is very critical of himself and he needs to look at himself once again. Kyle how crucial do you think that would be as we prepare for the 2022 World Cup? Well, I, the first thing I would say is I respect Otoado for, for that uh, ability to self-introspect, to admit that he made a mistake. Others would double, they would double down and say, we lost to Brazil, blah, 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 without talking about their own part in the loss. You know, we talked about, I, I talked about the formation that he, 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 he used in the first half, that it was faulty, and he agreed. So for me, the fact that he agreed that he made a mistake is give me enough hope to think that this is somebody who, who, who is ready to, to get better. You so the moment you are you are you admit that you are you were wrong, it means that there's room for you to improve, and that is good news for me. So I hope that um, without looking down on the or, or or anything, I am not seeing them as the a true test of his uh, new thinking now. Of course. I expect uh, Ghana to make this one against Nicaragua, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, this is a game. Uh, I love the fact that they played Brazil, the best team in the world, number one ranked in FIFA. And now they are going to play Nicaragua, who are like uh, mm, a farmer's team. No, no disrespect to them. <laughs> one one ranked, ninth ranked in the world. 
Femi, those, these are two extremes. I like the fact that they, they, they lost against uh, Brazil and they are going to play Ghana, uh, Nicaragua now. Yeah, the good thing about it, Femi, is that everybody's expectation is tempered now. Yes, so now they can begin to build the giddy, eddy, boast to, ah, we are going to do this, we are going to. Now everybody knows that in order to compete, you have to, you have to, you have to, have to work. you have to work. Now they will start seeing the outcome of that work with the game against Nicaragua. But like I said, no matter the, regardless of the result against Nicaragua, I will still not judge this team. The result still does not matter to me. I want to see improvement in three areas for me, players' reaction, positional awareness, and then inventiveness in front of goal, because that will be key. If with the three, four opportunities they saw against Brazil, how many of them are, are they able to convert against a lower ranked team? So those three key areas are the areas I want uh, everybody, including the, the, the viewers at home, to look out for. Have they improved on their, on their positional awareness? inventiveness and then for me this art they must they must put their hearts in this game that you know what even if we have to 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 shed blood we want to show Ghanaians that the the the, the final score that will be going to the world cup will be players who deserve to be there so that's what well, i will start seeing that against nicaragua and for me that's why i also want you to be on the lookout for Mm, all right thank you please stay with us james let's look at it he said i will start with myself because maybe the system was wrong I have to look at it again and question myself first. Kaede, this is awesome. Yeah. Because like Kaede said, at least he's, he's, as he's taking the blame first because he selected the players mm. and, of course, he, he made the formation. Like Kaede said, some other coaches will either blame the players for uh, wrong positioning, uh, inability to make use of uh, the Inability to interpret yeah. tactics. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Now, of course, uh, react to uh, the game against Nicaragua. Of course, like Kaede said, it's more like a, a farmer's a team, so to say. They are mild, uh, miles apart from yeah. the uh, Ghana's quality. Mm. But of course, let's look at that. Yeah, um, for him to come out uh, to admit, I mean, he showed that he, has on, he, he was at least honest enough to come out to say, okay, uh, I made a mistake. And we also what happened after the, the uh, how long, the, the, the first half, the you know, bad display, they were able to, you know, make them uh, come back in the second half and hold their own. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it was already 3-0, and so they were just chasing the game. But at least the, we saw improvement in the second half of the game. You know, going into the game against Nicaragua, uh, the, the good thing there is, fine, they lost to Brazil, but the thing about the Brazil game is it exposed them. Mm -hmm. It made them to show that, look, they are areas you still need to work on and especially those uh, aerial um, I agree. Uh, you know so uh, the thing about the big teams they will expose your weakness they will pounce they on will your weaknesses. weaknesses so now going into the game against Nicaragua what I expect them to do now is all those mistakes they were able to you know uh, see identify it, identify them now you just have to now take it into the game against Nicaragua fine Nicaragua is not um, when it comes not to be football. A true test. exactly you know but use all those mistakes now put everything together and use it to face um, uh, Nicaragua at least show People that there's going to be improvements, and if they come out, we fine. But they must not. The performance must. They must. We must see improvement in the game against Nicaragua. Not that okay, you lost against Brazil. Fine, that's already an excuse. The, 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 the biggest team in the world, mm -hmm. the most successful team in the, in the World Cup we history. But playing against Nicaragua, come on. I mean, if 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 they don't beat Nicaragua, I'm not saying they must uh, score goals, yeah, but at least if they don't beat Nicaragua, like three zero. <laughs> I mean, show us that you've learned from the mistake against Brazil. So you're going, also. Yes, I mean, play against Nicaragua and. Use all those uh, all those mistakes you have to learn from it. Then use it against Nicaragua because it's a good it's a good thing that they played against Brazil first. Now they're going to play against a very weak team. So now use all those um, uh, what what you've learned from the game against Brazil. Now use it against Nicaragua. The most important thing is we want to see improvement in this game against Nicaragua. Kyle, mm -hmm. um, also Otoado said he was disappointed with his team. Uh, uh, the defending of set pieces against Brazil. Of course, we scored two goals came from uh, set pieces in that game against uh, Brazil in France. And um, going forward. What do you think Otado should be demanding from his players? At least, let's even begin to look at that in this Nicaragua game. What do you think Otado should be demanding from his players after that game against Brazil? Femi, at the risk of, sound, uh, of repeating myself, some of these things you and I talked about in, in the postmortem that we did after the game. I said, if you, let, if you check uh, the three goals, actually, you will see at least a minimum of five, six Ghanaian players in the box. Now, what Otoado should do, to answer your question, what Otoado will be demanding from the players 
is one total concentration for 91 minutes. That's, you mm -hmm. cannot afford to take your eyes off the ball at any time you're, you're, you're on the pitch for me. That is what they lost against Ghana, concentration. Cut down on your mistakes. You can make mistakes and get away with, with it against Nicaragua. You will not play Nicaragua at the World Cup. They are not going, that's why they are not going to be at the World Cup. They're going to be playing teams around the weight and influence of Brazil, Portugal, England, all the big teams. Those are the teams you're going to play. If you, if you hope to win the World Cup, you are not, you are not, uh, Nicaragua have never been to the World Cup. They are not going to the World Cup. So, but you are using them as target practice just to sharpen your, 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 your attack and everything. So the first thing is total concentration. The second one is positional awareness. You know, I keep talking about this positional awareness. Like, it is schoolboy error for me. I scored the goal, the goal Marquinhos score. I scored, I saw a lot of uh, uh, red shirts around him. That's what I'm saying. They have more than seven red shirts in the box, and none of them deemed it fit, taught it wise to stand on the post. Because that's the first thing you should do. Stand on either post, make sure that no ball passes through that area, be the keeper's uh, eyes and and whatever they so that those are the key things that you have to do concentration they must have total concentration one then two positional awareness then three they must have the art to go forward cut down their mistakes have they had, have they had to go and fail me when they have opportunities convert them there's nothing wrong in beating a caragua 10-0 fine we know it's a friendly match but it helps you to sharpen your own attack if you get 10 opportunities score 10 for me uh, I know theoretically, uh, practically, it's not possible to get 10 chances and score 10. But if you get 10 chances and you score less than six out of it, for me, for me that would be a failure. So those are the key things I think the Ottawa should be demanding from the players. Focus, inventiveness, be, 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 be adventurous. Don't, don't hesitate to go forward. Be aware of your positions. Those are key for me. Those are the things I will be looking out for. Uh, can you please stay with us? James, um, Andrea, you is um, assuring uh, Black Stars fans that, of course, the team will do well at, at the World Cup. So he's telling um, the Ghana supporters, please, you guys calm down. And he said, personally, I knew what was supposed to be done and took advice from people, including some senior former uh, players, on, the, on what to do to qualify. Honestly, since we qualify for the World Cup, a lot of things have changed and confidence and belief are back now. So you just have to get the stability and a lot of games together. But he's saying that we are going to make a good impression at this World Cup. Well, we've talked about that, but we can't get out of talking about it because that is the essence of it. Do you share the same uh, thing, uh, the same optimism that Ghana will do well at the World Cup? Well, um, um, he's uh, somebody that is experienced. He has been, he has played to the highest level. He has played at two uh, World Cups, so he. he, he he knows what he's saying. So, I mean, it's now boiled down to the, it's now, everything now left to the players to, you know, uh, do the, 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 the uh, doing the talking now to do the, the work too. I mean, uh, we saw their game against uh, Brazil. A lot of uh, Ghanaians were very angry, you know, criticism behind. So it's now left for the players now to come everybody down. When they didn't do well at the AFCON, they had an op another opportunity and they were able to qualify for the World Cup. So now the qualification, that one is, is history now. What is uh, paramount now is, how to perform at the World Cup. They have to better the, the performance of 2014. It was, a, it was a awful experience for them. You know, so um, he, he coming out not to say that he's confident. You have to do the, uh, the, the talking on the pitch. Yeah, they, the, the fans have to see that you mean what you are saying, not just coming out because you just want to talk, you just want to calm nerves down. A lot of Ghanaians were very angry and they were not happy the way they performed, you know, so they want improvement. You now you have uh, new guys in the team, Tariq, uh, Salisu, uh, Inaki, you know, so these guys, they came in and they, they did their own bit, you also, know, so, yeah. so all those things, everybody wants to see improvement. You're going to the World Cup, this is not the AFCON, this, this is the World Cup where you play against the best, the best yeah. of the best. Thank God they play against Brazil, they're going to play against Portugal, Portugal, Brazil, they, they play kind of similar football. So playing against Brazil, you, have, you should have an idea of what to expect you against, who qualify exactly, from, the, from, from very our, difficult ex uh, exactly. series. Uh, South Korea too, they're not pushing over, so these are tough, tough uh, opponents, so that's why they are lining up, up this friend game now. So you have to now do the, the, the talking on the pitch. Let Ghanaians know that you, you, are, you are here for business. The, the qualifiers, uh, that, that was in history now. So everything boils down to the players. You just have to come out, 
play well, do well, play again, beat Nicaragua well, to show everybody that the mistake against Brazil, <laughs> uh, the mistake that you've learned from your mistake and you want to put everything right and go out there, all the, all, whatever the coach has, you make sure you do everything and each should you ginger the players, make sure that uh, they, they get a good result. Mm. Of course, Kyle, they, against the Brazil, of course, Andrea, you, he, he, he almost got a goal for the Blacks, and we talked about his in a review of that game, and he's assuring uh, Ghanaians that the team will do well at the 20. Uh, 2024 World Cup in Qatar. Is it too early to talk about the fact that Ghana will do well or we should wait after the game against Nicaragua? <laughs> oh, uh, Femi, like, yeah, I was not in my head when James was talking. Apart from the platitude, we're going to do well. Now you have said it, we have heard you. Then go out on the pitch and show that you are going to do well. It's easy to say we are going to do well. Femi, I can also say the, uh, I will do well and go back home and sleep. <laughs> but you have to go out and show that you really, really intend to do well. I'm not saying win all your friendly games, Femi, because then it gives sometimes it gives this false sense of security that ah, we won all our friendly games. Remember Nigeria? Yeah, right. yeah. Remember Nigeria on the way to 2002 World Cup in Japan, Korea? We were beating everybody left and right and center until we got stopped at the World Cup proper. So for me, I keep saying this: performance will be key. Whatever we are able to do in preparations, it is the performance that me, I, I'm, I'm concerned about. See, nobody wants to know what happened against Brazil. The next game is this game against Nicaragua. Face it, beat them properly and do it in style. Show that you are hungry. Show all the lessons you learned from the game against Brazil. Let us see them. Anybody can say anything. The, the whole nation is hurting at the moment because of the result of the performance actually now go out there and improve your performance improve your output let us see that even if this game against the Galaga ends in a draw let us take away some things some positives from the game that you know what even if they drew the game we saw an improvement on the game they played against uh, Brazil and you know what the what they did in the second half against Brazil will beat that performance in the second half will beat Nicaragua silly. That's why I adv I advocated in the in the in the in the review of the game that they should start the game uh, with the with the second players who finished the game against game. Brazil. So for me, the the world is out there for Ghana to do well if they really want to do well, but it goes beyond just talking. You have to go out there and show it on the pitch. Show it in your attitude, show professionalism, show commitment, show perseverance, because there will be a lot of odds and disappointments on the way. You need all of these qualities in order to succeed at the World Cup. Hmm. Okay, Carol, please stay. I'll be coming back to you to talk about week three of the Bet Power Ghana Premier League, uh, the result. James, you have a vested interest in Thomas Pante. You are not a Ghanaian, but you're an Arsenal fan. And at the same time, of course, you want Ghana to do well at the 2024 World Cup. Yeah. Now, he will be playing against the Quaragas because he's gone back to London yeah. for treatment. But let's look at how big of a means it will be uh, for Ghana uh, going forward to the World Cup. If the, this keeps happening, that after every game, there will be some injury concern because we know it's the injury of that, uh, uh, the midfield end of the Black Stars. Yeah. How much of a miss do you think? Because we, we did see him against Brazil. How much it was in the lineup, but I have to pull out. How much of a miss will it be for uh, Black Stars very quickly? It's going to be a very big miss um, because if somebody who has been part of the team, who helped them to qualify for the World Cup, it was very influential in their mm -hmm. qualifiers. You know, so. Um, uh, I mean, it's also unfortunate that uh, this injury just don't want to go away. Um, it reminds me of uh, a certain uh, Robbie Van Persie. You know, he was able to you know overcome it at, uh, at some point. You know, so for party, I mean, it's, it's becoming too much now. And uh, I think uh, all what our other needs to do now is start trying tactics that will, you know, make the team feel able, so that they'll be able to play. Even party is not uh, will not be able to make the the team. We also want to play. But that's going to be difficult. Because because I know. Arsenal, we know I, even Arsenal I know. No, no, we are not even talking about. Uh, no, I'm uh, talking about his impact. Arsenal too. I know. As good as that team looks, I know. Feeling the, feeling the impact. I understand. So, but, but, but I'm, I'm focused. I'm particular about the Black Stars now. Mm -hmm. You know. So for me, um, if. Um, just like what they did against Brazil in the second half, actually there was improvement and it was not there. So yeah. it goes to show that you just have to try out different tactics. Who knows? Somebody might just imagine and you might not even need a party. But me, I want party to be at the World Cup. But when a player keeps getting injured, I mean, you just have to put your hands up and say, I think we have to just uh, try something else. And I believe that there are players who 
uh, who, who step, they might not be world class like party, but you know, sometimes when this thing come up, uh, you, you never can tell. When um, Popido had injury in Italian 90, nobody saw Gokuchia. He just came in and, mm. uh, and he shown. So, who knows, maybe somebody is locking somewhere who will just take over from party. Mm. Okay. Kyle uh, let, let, let's come back to uh, uh, the Ghana Premier League now, of course, week three. And the headline of that, uh, the fixture was, uh, or I mean, for week three. Uh, was um, uh, Ashanti Kotoko versus um, Art. Of course, uh, we saw that uh, Art, they had to come from behind. Of course, a, a, a late equalizer in that game. Uh, but let's quickly reel out the result now before we talk about uh, uh, the game. Of course, Accra Lions defeated um, uh, Tamale City FC 1 0. Uh, Great Olympics, of course, also playing at home. They defeated the uh, Kumasi King Faisal by uh, the same goal margin. Uh, Kotoko Royals, of course, played 0 0 against uh, Unsua Treman FC. I hope I got that correctly. The Edwana Stars, they played 2 2 against uh, FC Samatex 1996. Then uh, Red Tamale United. Kyle, I told you, I don't know what is happening with uh, RTU. They lost at home to Legon Cities. And of course, uh, Karela United uh, defeated Dream FC 2 0. And uh, Bibiani Gold Stars, of course, they defeated uh, Beckham. Very, very slim margin. Uh, but a, a long go, yeah, playing at home, they defeated uh, Beckham United. And of course, the, the game of the week, which was Ashanti Kotoko of, and the uh, House of Folk, it was 1 1. In Kumasi, how they first of all react to uh, the game between Kotoko and Art in Kumasi? Uh, when we see early days yet, and I'm happy that that first uh, instrument of the big Ghana derby has been played. It is out of the way now. Uh, honors were uh, the spoils were shared, and we hope the second leg, whenever it's going to be in Accra, would not be the title decider. Because then that means the stakes will be raised higher than normal. I would rather not want a situation where it will be the title decider. But like I said, it's early days yet. Anything can still happen, and that takes me back. Takes me to to the 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 jibe against uh, uh, RTU. You want to troll us, but God is God is bigger than you. <laughs> we are, like I told you. We are coming. But have you have you seen the table to see where RTU stand? Have you seen the it table? It doesn't matter. The, nobody is going to be crowned champion at, at week three, of week three. You guys three. are fifteen. You are fifteen on the table. You have one point from three games. It doesn't matter. The the there's still thirty five games. Almost thirty something games to play. So we are yeah, waiting. We are waiting patiently. For me, just keep your fingers crossed, and you see how this how this season will pan out. Don't worry. Just trust us. We are coming. All right, James, as we round up now, mm. uh, of course, what do you think Kotoko and the uh, Arts of Hope? Of course, uh, uh, there was a late equalizer in that game, and the uh, Arts, they have to come from behind in the 83rd minute. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think it's two points dropped for Ashanti Kotoko. Mm. Uh, for that game, I think they, they dominated the game, and uh, there were some uh, calls for penalty with the, they felt the, the Kotoko fans, they felt the referee, you know, didn't do enough yeah, to, yeah, you, know, them, you yeah. know. So that one, when you play the, the big games, I mean, you just have to take your chances and uh, uh, Kotoko failed to take their chances and uh, hearts came back. They, they, they were able to get the little collider. I think they, they are now going to try and build because they played away, you know, so they are going to build on it. You know, this, this was a uh, Kotoko's first game. Uh, they are yeah, hard played course, their third, yeah. you know, so uh, hard for me. At I think it's, three, three yeah, it's the already. game point. And the they've points. also done well. They've not mm, had you, you, you played against the, the champions. I mean, you, you were able to get your point. You, did do, you didn't do well, but you're able to squeeze out the point. I mean, if they can build from, 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 uh, from the result against Kotoko, I think maybe they, 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 they'll go far. For Kotoko, this is just the first game, and I believe uh, we'll see the best of them as this, this season uh, progresses. Hmm. So, Kotoko, well, I think for me, a lot of questions need to be asked. Remember, they got knocked out of the CAF Champions League, and of course, one would expect that at least coming back to the league now, uh, they have two outstanding fixtures, uh, they were going to at least get one over at, but unfortunately, it's a derby, so it won't be uh, easy for them. Unfortunately, guys, we have to go. This will be ending uh, today's edition of uh, Nigeria Superfans from Kado Gundare. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. And James, thank you for coming. To oh, it's a pleasure. Okay, to our fans. Don't let the fans know that we're going to do a review of the game against Nicaragua. We appreciate you are joining us for the for the game against Brazil. We, we look you. forward to doing more of this as we come down to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you heard that. Of course, we'll be doing a review of the game against Nicaragua, at least to see um, how the, the Black Stars will be. Of course, we'll be answering the critics because after that game against Brazil, 
uh, there were a lot of knocks. And uh, of course, uh, remember, we, we discussed it that uh, had, to, had to come out to say that he will be questioning himself. Thank you for always uh, staying through with us. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so that, of course, you can get our videos as soon as they drop. For all your comments, for all your criticism, for all your commendation, we appreciate you so much all around the world. We appreciate you so much. Until next time, I remain Oluwafemi Ashaolu. Bye for now.